I understand that Alfonso had you each write an essay. What was, what was that all about? Um, well, actually, I didn't. I never did. Choose <laughs> <laughs> a character. You didn't yeah. hand it your own. No, I, I didn't do it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, he basically asked us to write an essay about uh, who we thought our characters were, why they did the things they do, um, their backgrounds, their feelings, their thoughts, how they've changed uh, in the first year of Hogwarts, second year of Hogwarts, and now into the third year. Um, on the and it was, I, I felt really so pleased with myself because yeah. I, you hadn't handed yours in, and I felt so pleased. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. So I had mine. The next day, Emma comes in with all sixteen pages of hers. <laughs> it's frighteningly good casting, really, the way you're all reacting to this. <laughs> we just got a chance to explore the characters slightly more because yeah. they're growing up, basically, yeah, and so there's more scope to the characters. And we're the teenagers. Books. What is the first thing that typically fans do when they see you in public? It kind of quite a lot of kind of double takes. First of all, yeah. yeah, I think there's almost this theory that we can't actually go out in public, so it must just be somebody who looks, looks like, like us. Mm. Yeah. Tell me about it. But I mean, that's kind of a myth. We do actually go out. Yeah, I was mm. in Topshop the other day, and this this, this um this woman who's working there comes up and goes, <laughs> "It's so funny. You look exactly like the girl who plays Hermione." It's like, yeah, it's because I am. Excuse me, what? Sorry. <laughs> I have to travel in a handbag so the girls won't get me. <laughs> you know what they say, once you've gone out with a shrunken head, you never go back. <laughs> you see how your mouth has come unstitched? <laughs> that could easily be restitched. <laughs> yeah? What is the most ridiculous thing that, that a fan has ever said to you? Well, I've had proposals of marriage. I had one, which was bizarre. Tell it was terrifying. Was Dan, and, marry me. Yeah, <laughs> it was the weirdest one. It was this big sign. And then the other one was the towel girl. Oh. Oh. Um, the towel girl. The towel girl. The towel girl. She's a legend. <laughs> no, what did the towel girl do? We were filming, um, I was doing MTV in New York, and it was freezing cold out. I mean, it was, it's not like it was a warm summer's day. It was so cold. Mm. And I got up, and they took me over to the window, and there was a girl standing down there wearing nothing but a Harry Potter towel with a sign. It that say, it doesn't get much better than no, this. No, that's so with, a sign, man. with a sign that says, nothing comes between me and Harry Potter. Yeah. It was great. It, it, yeah. I bet it was. <laughs> it was. Yeah. In the movie, you encounter a boggart uh, who transforms itself into your worst fear. If you individually encountered boggarts, what do you think they'd be? Because um, you look like well, you love that pressure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, well, I'm actually really scared of spiders. I hate spiders. Just like wrong, really. You're wimpier than Johnny. What animal or animagus? Is it animagus? Animagus. I, animagus. Oh, I've been corrected animagus. by Hermione Granger. Right. What, what do you think the other two would morph into? Oh, God. Um, I don't always know. said that. Come on. Frog. I didn't say you look like a frog. You did in one of the pictures. Did I? Yeah. One of the stills. I, I, God, that, God, I was. Face. That was during my horrible face. Yeah, um, nice. I don't know. I don't Come know. What animal would you like to be? You like camels. Um, Camels are quite so good, you can be a camel. It's a handy thing to be, you know. You can go a <laughs> long time without yeah, water. Exactly. You, I, sort of, I, I have absolutely no idea. Who, like, I'm sorry. Throw one in. Come on. Um, yeah, come on, Dan. Come no on. pressure or anything. You're meant to be able to, you know, do things like that. I know, but I can't. You are the boy Potter. <laughs> I'm meant to be able to. Hey, how about um, a potato head? Hey. A platypus. Oh, Help me. <laughs> uh, a lion. <laughs> a lion. Oh, <laughs> right. Right. Okay. What do you think he'd be? What do you think he'd be? Well, I know he has a real thing for werewolves. No, just wolves. 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 No, just wolves. wolves. Okay. I convinced you that I was a werewolf. Oh, well, no, you I did. did. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I told him I was a werewolf. I you as well. <laughs> well. You couldn't have done really. Oh, I did, yeah. <laughs> okay, fellas, you are, you know, probably the most famous under 16 year olds on this earth. The girls must be. It must be a glorious time. Bunch of uh, towel girls. Yes, many, many times. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's, it's great. It's very cool, yeah. What are the things you'd like to be able to do that you can do in Harry Potter that you can't do in the real world? Would Quidditch be one of them? What, what are the sort of things you'd... If you could yeah. pick one thing? I think I'd probably have, like, have like, the invisibility cloak. Because then I could just sn sneak into so many rock concerts, it'd be great. You don't need a cloak to sneak into concerts. Just rolling under the turnstile like I do. Yeah. <laughs> but I do have a favourite band. <laughs> OK, what's your favourite Band. Isn't it obvious? Talking heads! <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one. And lastly, though, when a new Harry Potter book comes out, you, you must now, you know, having started out just as Harry Potter book fans, it must have really changed the way you read these books now. You do kind of start to look at it as 
and if, oh my god, if, well, I'll, I'll, I'll be doing this. <laughs> no, for you, it's not a book, it's a list of things <laughs> to do. Yeah. You know. I read the fourth book as we started the first film. Right. And the Yule Ball. Yeah. Me and Ron are like, I remember just reading, oh my god, we're wearing dresses? Yeah. Excuse me? What? <laughs> I've got to no. do that. Yeah. Surely. Do you, have you, did you have a similar moment when you read that? Or did, did you read oh, it? yeah, definitely. That's scared. We can't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but do you sort of, when you look at it, thinking that's another two weeks in blue screen? Or, oh, yeah. like, does it sort of ruin your enjoyment or heighten your enjoyment of the book? I think for me it heightens it because it's like, oh my god, I'm actually going to get to do this because you know there are kids all over the world dreaming of this stuff. Yeah. You and you're dream. actually going to be able to do it. It's fantastic. What about you? <laughs> Danny, what? Don't you think I'd be a great Harry Potter? Oh, yeah, yeah, especially when it comes to waving a wand. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought of that. Yeah. Emma? Now that I've done the film, when I'm reading the book, I can see Dan, Rupert and I actually doing yeah, it. Yeah. It's really funny, I have this little picture in, in my head. <clears throat> OK, that's me done. So now it's time to turn to the head and ask him to ask you his one question. Daniel, isn't our scene together the highlight of the film? Don't you think it's head and shoulders above the rest? It's the night, it's the night bus scene, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I just remember, I, I remember when you, you got on set, you were making a lot of demands, actually. But mm. you know, you, yeah, you, you yeah, no, it's a good, it was a good. I don't remember that. You asked the question. Don't interrupt. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, I don't remember that. <laughs> 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 Go on. No, yeah, no, it's a great scene. Very good scene. Come on, Daniel. I'm the most talented shrunken head in the Screen Actors Guild. In fact, I'm the only talking shrunken head in the Guild. <laughs> Honestly. 